physically cleaning your PC is as essential as keeping your hard drive free for the latest game updates. So today I'm going to show you how I like to keep my system free of dust. This channel is supported by my personal pocketbook, so if you'd like to help me out, just like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. To those who commented, liked, and subscribed to my last video, the 3080 launch, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Why would you need to clean your PC? Well, to impress your mother, of course, and to let her know that you are an adult, officially. But seriously, it's for aesthetics for the most part. This is subjective, of course, and some people don't care about that, and that's okay. Personally, I like to keep a clean PC, mainly because my system is in the living room and it's on display, right? Uh, the second reason is a bit more serious, and that's to help you keep your PC cool by keeping the airflow as high as possible. And three, tied to two, is most seriously, is to help prevent ungodly dust buildups that can keep your components from cooling and can actually cause fatal shorts. It's rare, but it is possible. Speaking of dust buildups, I was inspired to make this video after seeing the state of my sister's PC. This was actually my first proper desktop gaming PC, and I built it back around 2008, 2010, and basically my brother picked all the parts and showed me how to put it together. It's not in terrible shape, but it's not great. I mean, I'm quite anal about dust in my PC, so even today, you may not see that much dust. I wasn't willing to let it go too much longer, so just bear with me. So what you'll need is a source of air, an air can, an air compressor, or a purpose-built electronic duster. Some of those actually come with anti-static wrist straps and bristles. I'm sure you can find them cheaply online, but I think most people will use a can, so that's what I will use today. Microfiber cloths. These are excellent for getting rid of dust. Paper towel will also do. For the tighter spots, cotton swabs are what you need. Keep a few of them handy. Get yourself some surface cleaner. I like to use window cleaner. It's especially good for tempered glass and those side panels that are notorious for attracting fingerprints. Make sure you grab any tools you might need to remove parts of your system. Typically a Phillips head screwdriver. S screwdriver. Screwdriver is enough. Lastly, grab a mask and some safety glasses if you have them. You don't want to breathe in the crap that's built up in there. Once you have all the essentials, you are ready to go. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. You don't want dust flying around your house. Outside will do for most, just make sure it's not raining, of course. Take apart the chassis, remove the side, top, and front panels along with any filters your case might have and set them aside for now. A few tips before you start blowing air is to not get too close to your components. It is possible to damage parts of the motherboard or the fans if you let them spin too fast. You can damage the bearings or even cause the blades to break off. If you're using an air compressor, be sure to keep the pressure low. And if you're using an air can like myself, be sure to not shake it or turn it upside down. And if you feel the can getting cold, just give it a minute or two to warm back up. Start by spraying off your components, beginning at the top and working your way down. Try and keep the air source 10 to 20 centimeters away from your system to avoid damaging any fragile parts. But something more robust like the fins of your radiator can withstand much closer bursts of air. Clearly not taking my own advice, keeping the can properly upright. If you see any dust coming out of the radiator that is in a push configuration like mine is, it would be a good idea to remove the fans to get at the radiator. You don't want to let it get built up. I mean, just look at these ones. Disgusting. Just, just, just nasty. You can remove components if you want, like the GPU, but that's not needed for regular maintenance. My GPU could use a little extra cleaning, so I'm gonna take it out. If you wanna do a deep clean, you can remove everything, even the motherboard, set them aside after blowing out most of the dust, and then go over the entire chassis with a microfiber cloth. Grab a bottle of your favorite cleaner and wipe it down. Once it's dry, reassemble everything, and you should be good. In my case, things weren't too bad, so I only removed the GPU. You can actually see here that the thermal pads have separated slightly from the PCB, probably from sagging. Not a good thing. Give some loving attention to your fans and they will love you back. If you see any buildups of dust and grime in the fins, take a cloth and wipe them off. Oh, that rhymed. The cotton swabs will be your buddy here in reaching those tight spots. Next is the power supply. This is a tricky component to clean and if left for a long time can accumulate a huge amount of dust which can cause the unit to overheat. So just blow some air through the back 
And if you see any large amounts of dust coming through the fan intake at the bottom, it might be a good idea to remove the power supply from the chassis and take it apart to get at the dust. Once you're satisfied with the state of the chassis, set it aside and grab the side panels and filters. Blow off the dust from the filters and give them a wipe down. Wipe down the panels with the cloth and use the surface cleaner to remove dust, smudges, and fingerprints. At this point, you should be pretty much done so you can reassemble everything. Give it one more external wipe and you're good to go. Job well done. Now that your PC is clean, you might be wondering how often you need to actually do this. So ultimately, it's up to you. It's gonna depend on several factors like where you keep your PC. Is it near the floor or higher up? Do you have pets? Do you smoke? I don't have the best anti-dust setup. My PC's on the floor, but at least it's hardwood or laminate or whatever it is. So don't put your PC directly on carpet. If it has bottom intake, try to lift it off with something. Clean floors help as well. I have a robot to help me with that. If you want optimal airflow with no filters, then you're naturally going to have more dust in your system and a regular monthly clean would probably be a good idea. At the cost of less airflow, you can use filters like myself. You might clean the filters once a month and the whole system every two or three months. It's really up to you. Just check back on it once in a while. The more often you clean it, the better it will perform and the easier it will be to clean it each time. So that's it. That's how you clean your PC. I hope these tips have been helpful, helpful, helpful for you. This has been Tech Illiterate. Thanks for watching.